The secondary survey. So, you know, this is when the patient is stable and after the primary survey, and you're looking for anything else that you may have missed. You need to do a head to toe evaluation of the patient, and there are lots of things to consider if you are going to be thorough and pick up on things. So, just, you know, cast your eyes all around this image, and of course, it will help you to recall all of the things that you might be looking for. It's kind of a head to toe diagram. Um, obviously review your x-rays, think about penetrating injuries, think about the eyes, check for eye movements, ask the patient uh, to follow your finger and assess in the usual way. Scalp lacerations, looking at pupillary size and responsiveness, CSF leak from the nose or from the ear, otorrhea or rhinorrhea. Does the patient have contact lenses on? Is there a lens dislocation? Have they got adequate visual acuity? Are there facial fractures that we may not have picked up on at this point? Is the mid-face stable? Is there problems with the teeth or malocclusion? Missing teeth, for example. Is there evidence of problems with the uh, larynx, laryngeal fractures, which we've touched on previously, emphysema and subcutaneous emphysema? Listen for cardiac injury, blunt trauma or bruise. Look for bruising of the arm. Think of brachial plexus injuries, which can uh, relate to uh, significant bruising in the region of the arm. Reassess the chest. Again, pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax. Be mindful all the time. Rib fractures, cardiac tamponade, abdominal problems, distension, tenderness, uh, problems with the uh, bruising associated with uh, a seatbelt injury. Is that an indicator of the severity and force of injuries, uh, which could relate to internal organs. The pelvis again, fractures, bruising of the perineum, bleeding from the uh, urethral meatus. Do a PR examination, check for blood, check for lacerations, normal sphincter tone, a high riding prostate. Pregnancy, uh, could, th could this patient be pregnant? Check for the uh, vagina, uh, foreign bodies, lacerations, and so on. If you're dealing with a burn patient, reassess for need for escarotomies, um, compromise to limbs, coughing, problems with inhalation injury, soot blisters, edema, or problems with the tongue or the pharynx. What about compartment syndrome with uh, severe disproportionate pain of a leg or bruising, prepotus, tenderness? Examine the back of the patient, log roll and, and, and assess the spine for tenderness. Uh, listen to the chest, both front and back. Listen for pneumothorax or flail segments and so on. So this is just a, 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 an indication of the types of things that you want to try to pick up on.